to the El Paso Community and Locomotive Faithful. First, I hope you all had a positive and prosperous start to the new year. 2020 promises to bring many amazing things to El Paso and the borderland. One of those things is our second season in the USL Championship and our second season representing all El Pasoans. 2019, our first season was both fantastic and challenging at the same time. From building a brand new roster from scratch, seeing the club structure come together from the ground up, experiencing a catastrophic event that rocked our community, to then witnessing our great city come back even stronger and more united than ever. Playing and winning our first playoff game at Southwest University Park and representing El Paso in the Western Conference Final, to ultimately having our dream of bringing the trophy back to the borderland fall just short at the final hurdle. The story of our first season together could not have been scripted. The emotions were real, the highs and lows that brought both smiles and tears were genuine, and looking back on the season and what we achieved as a team, I wouldn't change one single thing. We return in 2020 with more motivation and hunger than ever, with a heightened belief in each other and what we do, and with the small matter of some unfinished business that we plan to put right. Another reason why we attack in 2020 with so much enthusiasm and tenacity is because of the group of players that we have assembled. With the returning players that you are familiar with, and with new faces adding strength, power and experience to the group, this season's team has a slightly different look. Last season our style of playing defensive record was something we were very proud of. However, after evaluating the season we believe we need to become bigger, stronger and faster in year two. While still maintaining our values of being brave on the ball and building our possession from the back, in short, we plan to be a more tenacious, aggressive version of 2019. Before I sign off, I want to tell you that I couldn't be proud to be here in El Paso with all of you. You have made this wonderful city feel like home for me and my family. You have shown us what it really means to be an El Paso and live in the borderland. That is why every time we step on the field, I can promise you we'll be giving everything we have to make you proud. This train isn't slowing down yet. We're firmly in the eighth notch and full steam ahead for 2020 and I can't wait to share it all with you. Thank you.